carb fueled athletes may know a good carbohydrate drink will contain two parts glucose and one part fructose for a maximum absorption rate of up to 90 grams of carbohydrate per hour. Carb drinks are a great choice for fueling training and supplementing solid food in very long rides like brevets. They allow us to easily consume needed calories while riding and help us stay fueled when our appetites fail to demand much needed food. Unfortunately, sugary drinks long distance cyclists can buy while on the road are often 60% fructose or more. This can lead to poor absorption rates and stomach issues. This results in many athletes preferring prepared drink mixes and energy gels like those from Goo, SIS, High Five, and others. These use maltodextrin for a glucose source along with fructose powder for the carbohydrate mix. Maltodextrin is ideal as it's a quickly digested chain of glucose that is not labeled as a sugar on product packaging, but it does act like sugar in the body. Electrolyte ingredients in these products range from just table salt to a mix of various salts, and they're all topped off with your flavor of choice with options for caffeine. For long distance athletes that need lots of fuel for training and events, the expense of prepared drink mixes can add up quickly. These mixes range from 10 to 20 US dollars per kilogram and can be much more if purchased from a local shop or from boutique brands. Making your own mix is an attractive option. Sadly, formerly cheap maltodextrin powder now usually costs at least 10 US dollars per kilogram and is over $20 per kilogram where I live. It's not necessary though. Instead, we can mix white sugar or sucrose which has a one-to-one -one glucose to fructose ratio with dextrose, which is just powdered glucose. And this can achieve our desired carb mixture for only about three US dollars per kilogram at the time of filming. Juice concentrates or powdered flavoring like old style Kool-Aid packets can add flavor while table salt and light salt, which is potassium chloride blended with table salt, can add electrolytes. Pre-sweetened drink powders like Kool-Aid, Tang, and various aids often include more fructose rather than just sugar, so adjust for more dextrose accordingly in your recipes. For a standard two to one drink, two parts sugar and one part dextrose give the carbs an ideal makeup. Here, I'm adding 200 grams of sugar with 100 grams coming from a flavored drink mix and 100 grams of plain white sugar with 100 grams of dextrose. Six grams of salt are added here, as I'm a heavy sweater with salty sweat. Your sodium needs will vary though. This mix is for shorter training rides and works best with about 80 to 100 grams added per bottle, which provides about 320 to 400 calories. It's pretty nice to drink. The recipe changes for different needs. For very long rides in brevets, starting with a heavily concentrated bottle carries more calories than salt. Using less flavored mix and more plain sugar reduces the strong flavor as concentration rises, but it still doesn't taste great. You want to follow a sip of the mix with a sip of water to wash it down. Adding more salts than in the training mix helps counteract the growing salt deficit experienced on longer rides. A ratio of one part sugar to one part dextrose plus extra salt is a good mix for powder to carry in a freezer bag while on a brevet or very long ride. Drinking this mix can balance out the glucose fructose ratios when also drinking fructose heavy drinks purchased at convenience stores or restaurants. I hope you found this useful. What fueling works for you? Leave your ideas in the comments below.